Hello, I'm John Chorley, CSO and Group Vice President of Oracle Supply Chain and Manufacturing Product Strategy. And in this spotlight, I'll highlight a few new capabilities in Update 21B. We will view this update in the following areas. First up, Supply Chain Planning. Supply Chain Planning Cloud Update 21B features makes it easier to analyze supply chain plans offline, either using Excel or analytics tools such as Oracle Analytics Cloud. The existing capability to export plan data to Excel for offline edits has been enhanced to be able to import the data after making your edits back into Supply Chain Planning Cloud. This enables you to effectively work offline in Excel. In addition, a new data extraction capability synchronizes planning measures in bulk for offline analysis in your BI and reporting tools. The data synchronization process uses built-in BI Cloud Connector, BICC, for seamless integration with Oracle Analytics Cloud, which you can schedule at regular intervals. Next up, Inventory. This feature leverages any ASN or ASBN from your supplier that contains lot and serial information to simplify the receiving process. The warehouse operator can view and select the lot and serial numbers assigned when the ASN or ASBN is created during the receiving process, eliminating the need to manually re-enter the numbers. In Oracle Integration Cloud, OIC, you can now subscribe to the new Pick Confirm Public Business event to trigger additional business processes or integrate with third-party applications. For example, after the Pick Confirm Business event is raised, you can use the Completed Transactions in Inventory REST resource to obtain additional details related to the completed inventory transaction. You can then use that information to trigger an external print vendor to print shipping labels for you. On to manufacturing. Certain food and beverage companies want to specify production requirements in dual units of measure, such as cases for stocking and pounds for valuation purposes. In Update 21A, we introduce dual units of measure during manufacturing work order transactions. With Update 21B, you can create process manufacturing work definitions and work orders using whichever unit of measure is most familiar to you. For example, entering product requirements in cases shows the equivalent pounds, which is calculated based on the standard or item-specific unit of measure conversion. It also makes it easier to verify the accuracy of material quantities and understand production execution and reporting in dual units of measure. With this feature, you can pre-assign one or more lot numbers for a product in a manufacturing work order. You have the option to default the work order number as the lot number during work order creation or enter a lot or generate a lot after the work order is created. During product completion, you will be required to use one of the pre-assigned lots when putting product into inventory and will have the ability to update the lot origination date, hold until date, and expiration date at product completion. Pre-assigning of the product lots to a work order can help accurately track product lots, their transaction history, and genealogy relationships throughout the production process. Now, maintenance. Work requests were originally introduced with limited availability in 21A and are now generally available in 21B. Work requests for an installed base asset are supported in the Oracle Maintenance Cloud by using the Oracle Help Desk offering. The Help Desk will support work requests only for internally owned assets using internal service requests. Work requests are typically used to report facility and asset related maintenance discrepancies. They will contain information about the nature of the discrepancy, asset if known, and a description of the problem. 
work requests are triaged and then assigned for resolution using maintenance work orders. Once resolved, the original requester is updated on the outcome of the work request, providing the feedback loop. Now, order management. To improve the user experience and efficiency of the sales entry process, you may now set a time limit from 5 to 240 seconds for the order submit process to complete. If it does not complete in this time, it will return the screen back to the user who may progress to their next task and the sales order submit process will continue in the background. If you use credit cards to make payment in your upstream source system, then when you import orders using the REST API, you may now include the credit card tokens. These are part of the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, PCI DSS, requirements and helps to shield sensitive details when you pay for the sales order transaction. You can now check availability and schedule orders for back-to-back -back items using real-time supply data from Oracle Cloud Supply Chain Execution. If the item is available on hand, it will be shipped from stock. Otherwise, Global Order Promising will trigger a new purchase order or transfer order to fulfill the demand. Any changes in supply, shipment and delivery dates will be reflected in the sales order line throughout its life cycle. With this change, you no longer need to collect supply data to update availability for back-to-back -back purchases or transfers. All other order promising requests continue to rely on collected data. Next, procurement. Some of the new capabilities in Update 21B are one-time addresses in requisition preferences, master contract variables in your purchase order terms, specifying a purchase order, sender email address, and line level bid decrements. These are covered in more detail in the Procurement Cloud Update 21B Spotlight delivered by Tom Anthony. Now on to logistics. The main focus for Update 21B in logistics is migration to OCI. As this is an internal infrastructure project, we'll not cover it in detail here. Next up, PLM, including quality management. PLM in Update 21B supports the ability to view context-specific attributes in affected objects table. This helps facilitate decision-making. Information is also available in the supplier portal. Item rules now support a function to call global functions, which can call the desired application composer function and return a value. The return value can then be used for assignment or validation. This increases your ability to enforce validations across base and custom objects. Quality management has introduced object hyperlinks to view related objects. These provide quick, seamless navigation between out-of-the-box Oracle quality management objects and any application composer custom object enabled processes. Finally, let's look at IoT applications and blockchain with intelligent track and trace. Both Oracle IoT asset monitoring and Oracle production monitoring now supports flexible computation schedules and improved testing capabilities where you can test metric values before deployment. Oracle IoT Fleet Monitoring now applies feature-based machine learning on data from Oracle Transportation Management Cloud OTM to determine insights and transit time predictions for planned shipments, yielding significant improvements in accuracy and cost savings. In addition, a driver, including third-party carrier driver, can now use Oracle IoT Fleet Monitoring mobile application to complete a shipment and provide the status of the shipment delivery. IoT Connected Worker in Update 21B can now add 
asset associations and locations for a project from asset monitoring for projects, and now supports Wi-Fi based positioning for improved accuracy where GPS signal is poor or absent. Oracle Intelligent Track and Trace using blockchain now supports serial controlled and lock controlled product tracking, enabling you to support comprehensive backward or forward trace for any given product. My name is John Chorley and thank you for watching.